Our political specialist, Sean Boyd. So, Sean, do you think that we will know a winner of the presidential election tomorrow? Maybe, Jim, is the short answer. There is a lot in play. A record number of mail ballots combined with a tightening of the race in key swing states and then throw in litigation by both parties. Here's what you need to know just hours before an election unlike any other. Regardless of who wins, the 2020 election is already historic as more people than ever vote by mail because of the pandemic. That alone creates delays. Mail ballots require signature verification. But on top of that, many states are accepting ballots after Election Day. I just worry that these states that have gone headlong into a mail ballot process, having never had the experience of it, are, are not going to have the safeguards, the procedures that we have in Colorado. And that invites chaos. Now, I don't know that there's going to be rampant fraud, but I do know this, that there's going to be rampant chaos, I think, if the election is close. And that's going to invite court battles. Which adds to the delays. But CBS4 Republican analyst Dick Wadham says there is a chance it could be an early night. The, the first domino to fall will be Florida. Wadham says if Trump loses Florida, he loses the race. Georgia, North Carolina, Ohio, and Pennsylvania also must wins for Trump. All but Pennsylvania will have most of the vote counted shortly after polls close. But if it's close, in any one of those states, it could take another day or longer before we know who won. Pennsylvania won't even start counting votes until Election Day and is accepting ballots for three days after the election. So if it comes down to Pennsylvania... Be prepared to wait. And Wadham says there's a good chance it could. I think there will be some court actions filed by both sides after the election if this thing is close. Uh, and I think it's going to be. It's nice to speculate right now. I hope we're not speculating uh, on Wednesday morning. Well, it could be days before we know who won the presidency. It could be months before we know which party controls the U.S. Senate. Two of the Senate seats up for grabs are in Georgia, where if no candidate gets more than 50 percent of the vote, a runoff between the top two vote getters will take place the beginning of January. Fortunately, here in Colorado, yeah. I suspect we will know the winners of both our Senate and presidential races by 8 or 9 o'clock, unless they end up being closer, right. which then it would be later in the night, but I don't think it's going to go to the next day. Yeah, Sean, you mentioned with so many people voting early, voting by mail, two weeks ahead of the election, we start counting yeah, those we ballots. Still, we count, yeah. yeah, and, and uh, there are a lot of states that do, but, you know, a lot of these states are new to this mail ballot process, and out. so Pennsylvania is a big one. They don't start until tomorrow. They'll start counting. All right, thanks.